Hello everyone, I'm the Solar Gamer, and welcome to Solar Indie Sunday. Now it's time for Rius, which is a game by Abbey Games. It was just released on Steam Store for $10. So this is a god simulation type of game. You control these giants, and you terraform the world. And they do this in a 2D style, and humans come and settle into uh, fertile lands, and you have to kind of help them grow while keeping them in check and making sure they don't, you know, go and destroy the world or destroy the giants. So, this game is really, really cool, and I've been playing a lot of it lately. So, alright, let's get into the game. Now, at first, when you play the game, you're gonna have the beginning level unlocked. You go first, second, third era, and that just unlocks the basic stuff for your giants. Uh, we won't show this part. Then we can go to era, which you continue to develop your your game, and you can unlock different upgrades for different resources, and it, it's cool. It's really cool. Other than the, the era campaign mode, you have free play, and the free play lets you play with the stuff that you currently have. So, unless you unlock everything in the game, you won't have everything in free play, which is kind of cool. It kind of defeats the purpose of free play, but it is cool. Okay, so we'll do game mode era 60 minutes, because I have unlocked that. And at the beginning of the uh, the era, you can choose which developments you want to follow. This doesn't reflect on what you have to do. Say you chose this one, finish an era with village that has 200 prosperity and 3 war markers. So you could click on this one and still get that achievement. It's just, it's a guideline to help you in the game. Right, yeah, we'll just do this. Okay, so our giants come up. This is the slime giant. He creates... Swamplands, Forest Giant, pretty straightforward. We have our Ocean Giant, and our Rock Giant creates mountains. So we'll create a lovely ocean, because this barren world needs it. Alright. Okay, so we have our first little ocean. Now we can start working on our forest on this side. Awesome. Okay, now a swamp. And we'll have our ocean giant create another ocean over there. Alright. First things first, let's grab ourselves some food. We can have a nice human settlement come up over here. We should be able to... Oh yeah, right there. Okay, perfect. Earthport has settled. So you can see that we have borders on this, from this marker to this marker, and that really outlines what you can improve in here, what they're working on inside of their borders. So if this blueberry was outside, they wouldn't be able to work it, obviously. Now they don't have much land to, to work with, really. <laughs> because they're building a granary right there. To build the granary, they need 30 food, and this is how you would help your your villages. So you could give them more food. We're gonna put, actually we need, we need you. We need the ocean giant to create domesticated animals in the water. That'd be fish, really. Now we're gonna build a mountain out uh, this way. Now we'll build a mountain out over here. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna create desert land in this area. Okay, now we have some mackerel, some fish. And these things can be upgraded, so we can upgrade it to a sea bass or a parrotfish with different aspects, which need to be unlocked. And to unlock them, once you finish a great building, like the granary, you'll unlock an ambassador. And the ambassador can sit on top of one of these giants and unlock a certain aspect, which is a really cool way of doing things. Okay, so we need two more food to allow this granary to grow. As you see, we need 30. So we'll do another mackerel. Okay, and that pushed them over to 38. They should have no problem getting that now. I guess we can start our swamp village as well. We'll put a domesticated animal over there. Now to ever increase your improvement, you could uh, do the symbiosis. So for a massive school, you would need one animal in range of another mackerel. So we have two mackerels next to each other, which gives it the bonus of range. And then we can have another one right there, and they would keep, you know, basically going towards the uh, the entire ocean. 
So, oh, looks like we have another coastal village over there. And they didn't even settle on the goddamn frogs. Uh, that's okay. That's fine. We're going to put another macro right there. We don't necessarily need it right now. However, it'd be good to set up that extra food. And now they're all six. And essentially... Okay, the Forest Ambassador has appeared because we finished the granary. So these are the aspects that each giant would get if they took a Forest Ambassador. Now, every Ambassador is different. And if you wanted the Fruit Aspect on the Forest Giant and the Ocean Giant with the Crystal Aspect, you'd need two Forest Ambassadors, so two Forest Villages. Okay, so I think we're going to give it to the Forest Giant. Yes. That's what we're going to do. So we can help uh, with the... Uh, the fruit aspect, which could upgrade these into apple trees, the blueberries. So I'll come over here. And upgrade this. And now they're apple trees. And they get bonuses based on animal nests next to it. So we're going to place some chickens over in this tile right there. And these these borders expand on their own. You can't control that. You're just gonna have to wait or move things around to get more resources in their tiles here. Okay, so we have a lovely chicken. Now this is buffed with blueberries. So we put a blueberry right next to them and they will get more food on their tile. So it's all this interconnected improvements that you have to focus on and essentially upgrade your your village to the max with the time limit. Okay, so now let's work on this guy. A tool shop has started. So they want wealth and technology. 15 and 15. So we're gonna get our rock giant. Or yeah, is it rock giant? Mountain giant, stone giant, something like that. We're gonna get him down here. We're also gonna get our slime giant. Of course, if they're on the other side of the world, it's going to take them a long time to get over here. So the easiest way to get technology would be to place herbs, which is the Swamp Giant's thing, their, uh, their ability here. So we place down herbs. We got seven beakers. Now we can also grow this with the Ocean Giant to make tomatoes. And tomatoes have more technology based on how much food is on this tile. There's a little bit of a learning curve to this game, but once you get the hang of it, you get the hang of it, and it's it's going to be it's going to be fun. And if we can upgrade this even further, I believe. Okay, it does not want to, so we won't let it. That's fine. However, even if you cannot upgrade it, you can still do the leaf ability on it, and it would improve the beakers. Okay, so it looks like the frogs want elderberries next to it. And the way to get elderberries is to place fruit on the tile in the swamp. Each biome is different. So the plants in the swamp biome will be different from the forest in the desert and the water, obviously. Darkstone settled. Okay, so here we go. We got two rivaling swamp biome villages. So eventually they're going to start getting greedy over time. However... I don't want to manage another swamp biome, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to destroy it. it. Does not need to live. The giants giveth and they taketh away. Oh, what? It's fine. You respect us, don't you? Okay, so now we're working 11 tech points, which isn't enough. So what we're going to do... So actually, we don't even really need food. So what we're going to do, we're going to stomp out these frogs. And we're going to place advanced minerals, which gives us uh, tech points. There we go. We have 25 tech points now. This is marble. Again, you can upgrade each resource. All right, now they want wealth. And the best way to get wealth is through exotic animals. Or, of course, mines. But we don't have another place to put a mine. Actually, we do. Okay, place it right there.
So we have a nice agate mine over here. We have 42 wealth. We didn't even really need this, these clownfish, but I suppose it's okay. Looks like one of your villagers is getting quite greedy. Uh-oh. Okay, which one? This one. Oh, boy. You're getting greedy? If greed consumes your village, they start getting war feelings, and war feelings evolve into hating the giants and wanting to destroy them as well. So you're gonna have to balance all of that. What we're going to do is we're gonna start a village in the desert. Okay, we have a swamp ambassador now. So again, these are the abilities that the swamp ambassador can give to us, and I think I'm gonna get seismic aspect for the rock giant. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna upgrade this into salt. Because it's all food, wealth, and tech. Aw uh, basically allows your village to grow without getting greedy. So we're gonna have to give some awe to uh, this village over there. Okay, so this can upgrade to salt. Perfect, we have a lot more resources. They won't be as greedy anymore. Okay. So now we're gonna jump on over here. Oh, the mill has started. They want technology and food. Right, okay, so we're gonna place down an advanced mine right there. It's stone. And we cannot upgrade it. With the seismic aspect. Now they're still getting greedy, but they should be okay for a while. We're gonna grow these lovely withered shrubs into agave plants. With food, and now we're gonna get a another village over here. Now the villagers really focus on wealth because, you know, they're trading. Uh, and once they build their trading post, I will get working on that. The trade post has started. We'll come over here. And they want 30 wealth in use. So we're going to give them an exotic animal. Now this exotic animal is better next to a plant. So where is our forest giant? Come over here, please. And we're going to replace this with a mine, because it'd be better over there. Okay, we can also upgrade this as well. We have a lovely mine over there, and that's just enough. Well, not just enough, we have 10 more than we need. Also, the, uh, the buildings actually give buffs as well, so if there are minerals in the border, it'll add 15 wealth. For the mill, if you have more plants, it'll stack up to 15. We need... Oh, and technology over there. Really? Okay, well, well, we'll work on that after. So these guys are all set, pretty much. We're going to give these lovely people of Earthport some herbs. Now, they won't be able to get this until they expand. However, it will add some tech points, which they do need. Uh, we, yeah, we don't have room to put anything else, actually. So we have some dandelions. So then we have five more beakers over here. They need 40. If next to a plant. Okay, so what we can do, we can actually place some more herbs right next to it. Our desert ambassador is ready. And I think we're going to give it to the swamp giant after we create an herb right here. No, 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 you just wasted it. You just... Okay, go get the goddamn... Uh, what the hell? Okay, that was a glitch, but it works. So their trading post is now completed. Uh, your giants are growing stronger and stronger. Okay, so now we can turn these into predators. And this would increase the wealth over here. So now we have rattlesnakes. And rattlesnakes get bonuses if they're next to animals, because, you know, food sources. So we're going to put a kangaroo rat on top of these. Actually, you know what? No, I guess that's fine. It just killed our tech points, but that, that's fine.
Actually, our tech points just went up because we moved it over one. Sometimes you have a better area for it. I don't necessarily know how that works. Workshop has started. Okay, so we're gonna send our giants over here. God, we need a lot. We need 70 tech, 70 wealth, and 25 food. So not as much food, which is fine. I think what I'm gonna do is add an exotic animal over here to grab some more wealth. That's also gonna improve the mine with awe. Okay. Actually, you know what? I don't want that. I want a mineral. That's what I need. No, 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 no. Stop settling cities over there. There we go. If we do this... That'd be worth... That's much better. Okay. Okay, get the hell out of here. I don't need you messing around with other villages. If I wanted you to settle, I would have you settle. But I don't, so die. Alrighty. Now we need more food. Let's put some fish into the ocean. That'll give us more food. We don't need that much. We just need enough to pass 25. Is that gonna... Yep, that did it. Okay, perfect. We're also gonna put another uh, exotic animal in the water here. Right next to it. Because of... You know, we need three more. And that's... That's not really... <laughs> That's not good. So we're going to add another one over there. Good. That put us over. So now that'll fill up and we will grab that upgrade. I guess what I can do is place minerals right on this this chicken right there. That's, that's the best I can do, really. Because the time is running out on this. And I do want to grab it in time. Okay, so that'll bring us up. Not enough, but it'll bring us up. It's better if it's next to a plant, so these are both buffed up. Okay, we have the Swamp Ambassador now. So, let's see, we don't have it on the Ocean Giant, or the Swamp Giant. Hmm. We'll give it to the Ocean Giant. And now we can improve some... domesticated animals, so like... the, uh... The kangaroo rats, we can upgrade them to goats if we wanted to. We don't need to, because it's a desert village and we need more wealth, but uh, we could. So we have a market coming up over here. They want more wealth. Okay, so let's send on over the giants. Yeah, I don't know if this mill's gonna go up at all. Oh wait, no, it will! It just upgraded. Thank God. Alright. That was close. Okay, so we're gonna place another mine here. Very nice. If next to Quartz. I don't know where Quartz is. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know where Quartz is, so... Can't really do anything about that. However, I could still... Place more mines, I guess. Wait for it to... Oh, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Come over here. Yeah, we're gonna need a mine over there. And... We have a forest ambassador. I think we're gonna give it to uh, the rock giant. Get the exotic aspect on there. So actually, come over here before you go over there. All right. All right, so now we're gonna come over here. Place some more mines down here. We need 120. That'll do it, right there. Perfect. Yeah, we can upgrade these clownfish as well. With uh, the ability of the exotic aspect, we can upgrade them to parrotfish. Which gives us more wealth and tech points. Awesome. That, that's really good, actually. So we're going to do the same thing over here as well. Actually, it looks like... Plus one wealth and plus one tech for each animal. Different fish type within animal range. Eh. We'll do the same thing. Get more... Get more wealth. Why not? So right now we're still waiting on the market. It's just basically a waiting game for now. We're gonna turn this 
into salt, I believe. What are you doing? Okay, I guess you can reach that far. Turn that into salt. We have a lot more of all of that, really. All right. Oh, what's going up here? A blast furnace. Okay. So it requires food and use to be 50. We're almost there. Wealth, 175. And technology, 175. At least five mines? How do you expect me to fit that? I, I just don't... Okay, well, either way, we have a lovely desert. So, let's put the swamp giant over here. We're going to upgrade these mackerel into sea bass so they can provide more food because we need more food. We need 50. This is taking up one spot, right? And I don't have the borders to add two more mines on here. So, I don't know what it wants me to do. <laughs> Oh wow, that didn't even... That took away food? Place us... Tech mine? Okay, they're all getting pretty greedy. So it's going to start erupting into war soon, looks like. I don't know if we'll be able to build this, uh, this blast furnace. Okay, 15, we have great marble. Ooh, wait a minute now. Great copper, great... Oh, no! Get out of here. Oh, we have a hamlet over here. We need wealth. Oh god, we don't have any. And we need more food. You see, I don't even... Oh, what the hell? What is this? Ugh. Need more wealth and food. I don't know if I could do that for you. We have a bank starting somewhere? Where is this? Over here? 75 food. Has more wealth than all the other villagers. 126. Ah, no you don't. Okay, well, we'll make that happen. We will make that happen. Well, food is a hard thing to come by in the desert. So I don't really know what you want me to do here. Guess we can make another salt mine. Do we need more tech points, actually? We do. Okay, so let's make an advanced mineral mine right there. See, it gets hard at this point. We can get a rabbit now. Lovely rabbits. Oh, and a deer, too. Sure, we'll get some deer. If there's dandelion, fox... Okay, does that push it? No. Only 202. We need 300? Yeah, 300. And more wealth. For each tuna and marlin stacks up to... What the hell? How do I get tuna and marlin? That doesn't even make any sense to me. Oh, there we go, right there. What is this? Parrotfish. And they're unlo They're still locked. Of course I can't get any. The one thing that I could get w would be this blast furnace if we captured this land in time. But I don't think that's gonna happen. High cliff settled. Oh, god damn it. No! Turn this into some salt. And... That should... Be good, right? Yeah. Once we capture it. I don't think it'll last four minutes, though. See, we got 76 tech, which is good. We need more food and more gold. Hmm. Do iron? Hang on. More iron. Okay, that pushes us up. Oh, actually, it took out food. Oof. Okay, let's go place some herbs over here. Or not herbs, rather. Um, food. That's what we want. All right, we have a lot of wealth now. It's not gonna be enough, but we have a lot of wealth. What else do we need? We have potent aspect or fruit? We have fruit. So we can change that into dragon fruit? Yes? No, not yet. Close, but no cigars. 
Yeah, this blast furnace is not going to be built. Damn. Ah, 18, 17, 16, yes, I know. If only it captured one more. But it's not going to. Damn it, city. Why don't you grow? The challenge has failed. That's okay. Oh god, they're declaring war. The village will succumb to danger? What is it doing? Oh no. Oh no. Wait, no, what is this? What the hell was that all about? Oh, they killed the goddamn rattlesnakes! What the? What? 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 How does that even help you guys? Come on now. That was pretty ridiculous, I have to say. Let's see if this will help any. I doubt it, but let's see. Boom! boom Oh wow, it did. Okay. Again, we're probably gonna run out of time though. Yeah, these aren't that good because they're. I don't have any room to put things. And I'm not upgraded fully, so I can't unlock all these transmutations. The observatory has started. Oh. Oh, this is actually a lot easier. Okay. I like this one. Let's grab our rock. Come over here, please. Nah, no, the bank's gonna fail. God damn it. I don't know what the hell I can. Possibly do. Oh, here we go. We can just keep doing this. Okay. I just boosted it up. Hang on. I need another one of those. <laughs> another one of these great marbles. Definitely need that. Put that right there. That'll do it. Oh god, they're getting greedy as hell. Thinking about starting a war. Of course you are. And the game is coming to an end anyways. We have 30 seconds left until the giants... Well, I'll be asleep. So there's not much we can really do, actually. Because all of our giants are starting to fall asleep, as you can see. We cannot move him anymore. And soon they will all be asleep. See, the forest giant goes... Up, up, yep, there they go. The end of an era. It was a good era, I have to say. We got a couple things here. Oh my. A couple is understated. What the? Oh my god. That is awesome. Okay, anyway, sorry. I just... That, that's really cool. Lots of achievements and everything. I guess that's good for the video, right? Of course it is. Again, this game is $10 on the Steam store. And it's made by Abby Games. This was Rius. I hope you all enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more.